probably thought I died, didn't you, my YouTube friends? My poor, oh, I just finished a workout and I can feel it. Like I can feel everything that's gonna be sore tomorrow. Um, in fact, I'm gonna take these off shortly. Um, but because I just finished this workout and I did so many things differently, and by the way, Mr. Flo, if you're there, Mr. Flo, um, haven't seen you in a while. Haven't seen all of you in a while. I've actually recorded um, quite a lot of YouTube content lately, but um, I don't want to say sadly for you. It's been stuff for my private coaching groups, um, and so now I'm back into a uh, recording schedule, figured out how I can set a schedule and record all of my content that I need to, so you just might see me um, back here. But I've said that before, <laughs> and then you guys have been like, when are you going to YouTube again? Um, before I take these off, I have to tell you, the folks at Harbinger, I don't know if you say it Harbinger or Harbinger, I really never know how to say their name, but I've been buying their gloves for years, but they sent me these. Um, I love the blue color. I think I was ordering the gloves, lifting gloves, way too small before, which is surprising because most people tell me I have really small hands. I think I ordered a size large. So ladies, if you're ordering lifting gloves from Harbinger, which I wouldn't recommend any other brand, I bought some, I'm trying to think, like maybe I've been at Walmart or Target or something and bought whatever lifting gloves were there and they rip apart. Um, these are quality, the Harbinger gloves, I'm just gonna say Harbinger. The Harbinger gloves that I bought um, years back, I still have in the other room in fact. So um, great investment and their prices are very reasonable. Um, so hello, cheers to you guys. As usual, let me do what... <laughs> So, anyway, I have my post-workout meal in my toaster oven in the back, which I am obsessed with. Never had a toaster oven in my adult life. Um, and now that I have one, it's so nice because I also have these meals from Factor 75. So all of my meals, you all know I've been talking about this for years. It's always been the bane of my existence, trying to grocery shop, meal prep, and I was always running into not having enough food. I'll go into that in another, um, uh, video because I have a whole organized schedule of topics I'm going to update you guys on. You're going to be so excited and so proud of me. But anyway, how much time do I have left? Six minutes. So I got six more minutes to chat with you on this video. So hello, I haven't disappeared. Um, things just got very, very crazy busy with Fitfluential. Um, and then, of course, I was also, um, you know, not only was the company getting very busy, but then I started to get active on a lot of other social platforms. I hope you guys are following me. A lot of you guys that watch me here on YouTube tend to not be on some of these other platforms, but I am regularly uh, engaging with my friends, you know, about a lot of fitness topics on Snapchat. My name's Kelly Alexa there. Instagram, Kelly Alexa, Pinterest, Kelly Alexa. My new blog is up. Uh, I had it redesigned and now it's all fancy and fresh, kind of like me. Um, KellyAlexa.com, so I hope that those of you that are here will head on over there and subscribe, please. Um, got some really great stuff coming out. You know, basically I've taken the last six to nine months to, again, start getting active on other platforms, Periscope, Snapchat, getting my game back on Instagram, getting regular on all of those, um, getting my blog redesigned up and ready, dealing with our company growing, and then figuring out, you know, how can I do all this stuff without <laughs> not having a life? Uh, without not not having a life. Is that what I want to say? You know what I'm saying. Um, so I have a wonderful new assistant who helps me. Um, I figured out how to get structure back into my days so that I'm running my days and not vice versa. Um, really looking forward to sharing a lot of things with you guys here. There's certain things that are great for a, a longer video. There's certain things that make more sense for me to just share on Snapchat. So I hope you'll follow me over there. Um, and then stuff that's going to go up on my blog. And then I'm also putting together some eBooks um, on my bioidentical hormonal resist, is that right? Bioidentical hormonal resistant treatment. Um, is that right? No, replacement treatment. <laughs> I need to have some coffee. Um, so I'm putting together some eBooks on especially, you know, things for free fitness followers of mine. Um, there's been so much change and progress for me in every single way. Once I started the bioidentical treatment last, started it in May. So it hasn't even been a year, 10 months. Um, 
it's transformed me in every way because what I had to do was do a lot of changing um, first. Um, mentally, uh, my attitude towards myself. I had to make lifestyle changes. And a lot of this stuff, y'all, I was making these changes before I really saw any manifestation of those changes in my body. And that's really when it's the hardest, when you're making all these huge changes and you're looking at your body and you're like, nothing's changing and you, you've got to keep going. But this is what I'm most excited to shoot some video content on today and tomorrow and then in the next few days and I'll start releasing them one by one. Um, but bringing you guys up to date on topic related, very specific, what are, the, what are the changes that I've made that have made a big change in me? Because I know that whether you have the, um, the hormonal imbalances and the issues that I have, like insulin resistance and hypothyroid, you're gonna be able to relate to a lot of the other things that um, practices and bad habits that I'd let get in my way of success. Um, and I'll just give you one last example. What compelled me to come out here and shoot this video after my workouts, um, after my workout, excuse me. So I'm working out a lot more from home right now. Kind of went to the gym for a while and now I'm back at home, really enjoying it. Um, and, and that's what a lot of my followers are writing to me about is, especially the ladies in my um, private fitness coaching group, you know, they don't, they're not ready yet to go to the gym. Um, they're not comfortable going to the gym. So they want to be able to work out at home. And I just, I get fired up when people say, I can't get in a good workout at home. Look at the guns that I've got working out from home, people. Come on, you can do anything you want, pretty much anywhere you want. Even if you don't have equipment, you can get very creative with body weight exercises. It's all about your attitude. So very simply, got to wrap this up. I got two more minutes. Um, I love this song, by the way. Um, so, very simply, um, I was doing Kathy's Muscle Max, one of my old favorite workouts. And, um, you know, she got to these parts with triceps and chest, and then most particularly in the end of the workout, she does a lot of core work. My habit in the past was I would always, you know, kind of like fast forward through, if I got to a workout like that, this DVD. Um, or of course you can get it streaming. Now everything's streaming. I feel like I just said VHS, <laughs> but you know, everybody mostly streams stuff on their laptop. I actually have a TV in my bedroom and a DVD. Um, but I would get to the things that I didn't like. And I didn't used to like working core because when my body first changed and I started getting fat on my, what used to always be ridiculously flat tummy, for some reason, I subconsciously didn't want to do core. So whenever she got to the end of her workouts and she had a whole core section, I'd be like, I'll do, I'll do core tomorrow. So I just wouldn't do the core. And when I also had moves that I either wasn't comfortable doing or I couldn't do them effectively enough, I just write them off. Like she did Superman's at the, at the end. And I'm like, well, that's not, you know, that's not gonna make my shoulders like I want them to. So I, I'm, I'm gonna skip through this. And you know, she'd say, well, this is for your core. I'm like, that doesn't feel like it's for my core. I don't like Superman, so I'm just not gonna do it. The biggest thing that's changed about me, and I started this last year, was I'm like, look, I have to stop pushing to the side all the things I don't like doing. I've gotta stop not doing chest and triceps. I've gotta stop not hitting my calves and my hamstrings because I don't like doing um, you know, a lot of hamstring work when they do this from home. You know, they do it where you're laying on your back and you put your legs up on an um, exercise ball and you pull the ball in with your legs and I always hate how it feels. I just, I feel like I'm unstable. What's the common denominator here? I don't like doing things where I don't feel like I can do it perfectly. Kind of a metaphor for life, right? If you suck at something, you're like, I don't want to do that. But if anything you do perfectly, you're like, oh, I got this. I can run eight miles an hour, no problem. If you can barely run, you're probably not gonna to wanna to do it. But those are the things, in my opinion, I think that we should tackle because guess what, people? A lot of the moves, because I started not letting myself skip through things like core or triceps, or there was a move she did today where you lay down on their pullovers. I'm gonna let that cook for one more minute. Um, their pullovers with, I use like a 25 pound kettlebell, you know, and you're laying on your bench and you're, you're pulling it over like this. So it's working, I mean, you can just feel it in your back. But she used to do that and because she did it with a barbell, 
I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to move my weights and, and take the weight off. So now I just used, I've got, you know, kettlebells and I bought those Bowflex um, dumbbells with the interchangeable weights. And it's one of my favorite moves now. Now I actually like working triceps because as the fat has come off my body, people, you can't see it as much in this video, but when I stand in the mirror, I can see not only where my shoulders are getting cut and my delts are getting bigger, but there's, it's a really nice line where my triceps are, and that's because I actually gave my triceps attention. I have well-rounded workouts. So I had to come in here, and that's really the first thing that I wanted to tell you. I'll go maybe into more detail in my next video, but seriously, I, I started using this, um, there's a blog post, I believe I put it back up on my new blog, because I shut down my old blog, but I have this challenge I gave myself in August, and I called it Do What You Hate. And that's what I'm saying to you. If you have stuff you avoid all the time, like I used to, put that first in your workout schedule. So Monday through Friday, like I always start with chest and triceps, um, chest, triceps, and then anything else I hate. And I make sure that by Wednesday, if I've had three days of working out in, I have hit core, I've hit chest, I've hit triceps. Um, what else do I not like? I gotta get this stuff out of the oven. Do what you hate first. You'll be surprised how much of it you won't hate anymore. And I'll be back. I promise.